Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy is Bunny. And today we want to talk about balancing your goals, ambitions with women, uh, girls, girlfriends, wives. Because, and we're not talking about small things like she doesn't want me to go to the gym because you just go to the gym. You just stay with your habits. But we're talking about larger um, career, education, big picture stuff. Big picture, long that, term stuff. That women can inadvertently derail. And, and the classic story that has always burned in my mind is I, I knew a guy that graduated with me that went to West Point. Um, on a football scholarship also. He was playing football for West Point, which if you know is is a game changer for somebody coming from lower middle class. It, it automatically puts you into an elite category. Um, and he had a girlfriend all through high school and they stayed together. And so when he came home for Christmas break, she talked him into quitting West Point. Oh, you know, once oh, in a lifetime it shot it. It breaks my heart to yeah. think about it. Um, and he did, and they eventually broke up. She's been married two or three times, you know, since then. And he basically sells home appliances now and could have been a leader of men, yeah. you know, with, with one of the best educations you can get on earth. But he made his decision, you know, allowed her to influence him. And, and a lot of people go, well, he was weak. Well, he was 18 yeah, and his parents didn't know enough to say, ignore her, mm -hmm. you're going back. Because they didn't really know what was in play. And he is not weak if he was no. if he was invited yeah, we're to be not at this a, point to no, begin if with. You got in we there, know what all, that goes, what all goes into but getting into there. You guys also know how much a girl can influence a guy, especially when he's 18 or 19 years old. And she talked him into staying home, you know, because mm -hmm. it would benefit her. She didn't want him out there. Um and it derailed his life. Entire life. Entirely. And she went on, she moved on, and, but his life got derailed from what could have been a great, great life, mm -hmm. you know, to very mediocre. And, you know, when I put this up on Twitter, a lot of guys jumped in. They yeah. Either, oh, yeah. They're like either knew somebody or they went through it themselves, mm -hmm. where their wife, you know, said. So the thing is, is you have to make the decisions. Mm -hmm for yourself to the best of your knowledge without her input because women are going to want to seek security they're going to want to reduce risk they want to remain comfortable mm -hmm. um, and it happens at every level I mean give you know buddy give them an example that we just heard over the weekend yeah so we also have some friends um, at the executive level. So this is full spectrum. It affects you at every stage and age of life. But we have some friends. He is an executive. Um, she is a stay-at-home mom. Great living, great family, come from great families, really upper echelon folks. But through the years, he has been offered advancement over advancement over advancement, uh, opportunities to move up the corporate ladder even more. And every time he's gone to his wife and said, and said, you know, what do you think of this? We would have to move here, or this is what this would entail. I would be gone long more. I would have to travel more, whatever the case may be, depending on, on the opportunity. And every time she has squelched it. She has no, I mean, she's close to her mom. She's close to family. She has her family all in the same town where where he's at, you know, most of the time. And she doesn't want that to change. Mm -hmm. Even if for him, it's kind of stifling his career. And it's, it has completely stifled his yeah. career. So instead, now he's stuck in a position where he's still a middle management executive. You know, he's still powerful and strong and making great money. But he could have been much higher up the food chain. Um, he could have had a more stable position. Now he's actually, because of, of all of the upheaval or lack of upheaval, he's traveling for weeks at a time. He's never home, um, all because she wants to stay in that house and she wants to stay with 
her parents, you know, a minute away or whatever it is, instead of them living an, a, a, a life beyond anything that she could have ever imagined. Right. And so he finally, you know, after years of this, went to a family friend who has a very solid marriage, very solid relationship, and said, you know, every time I'm, you know, offered a promotion or advancement, I, I you know, I talk to my wife. And the friend said, stop doing that. Yeah. Because it's not benefiting you or her. No. You know, you have to make the decision because she can't see the whole picture. She's basing it on how she feels right in that moment yeah. when he first mentions it and not looking at the big picture at all. Exactly. I mean, if you're an executive, you're moving. You're moving every two part years. Of it. If you're in the military, you're moving every two years. It's just part of it. My you father know, was an executive growing up, and I literally had three different second grades in three different states because we were just we were always being transferred up the up the chain. Yeah. My father would come home. We'd still have boxes unpack or to pa- unpack, and he'd come home and say, "We're moving to Philadelphia," and we'd say, "Okay." <laughs> and we felt we were compelled to bring this up today because. It's not something that happens in your day-to-day life. I mean, you can practice running your own show, and she's along for the ride in your day-to-day life, the frame being she's there to join you along in your life. Mm -hmm. And and most women are looking for a guy that they can plug themselves into his lifestyle, Mm -hmm. not him. In fact, you'll lose a lot of frame, you'll lose hand when you start adjusting your life to her whims. And it won't be immediate. She won't. She'll be. Oh, thanks for canceling that. So you can take me to my hair. Appointment. Exactly. You know? But it also puts you in a bad position. So you can practice running your own show by sticking to your guns, keeping your habits, making the best decisions for yourself and your family on your own, or you know, like talking to your dad or talking to other male members of your family or, or friends. But um, but these two or three big picture things will come up in your life and you can fuck it up mm-hmm. by simply going, honey, what do you think of this? As opposed to, honey, this came up and this is what I decided. Yeah, yeah. And that's where, that's also, I think it's an important point that that's where strong male influences in your own life, mastermind communities, groups of people that you trust, mentors, Really people, whether whether it's a father or a grandfather or someone who's kind of in that pseudo position in your life that you can go to, um, preferably who has had some success uh, or, you know, whether it be financial or marital or family or across the board, that you can go to for these big picture decisions when you're weighing your options instead of going to your wife. Yeah, and, and don't, don't take it as in... You don't wait what the effect on, you know, if your wife is pregnant with the first baby and her mom lives next door and you have the opportunity to pick up and move across the country, you have to weigh that into your decision. Sure. But asking her, hell no, you're not going to go. But you have to also look at the big picture. Yeah. You know, which she can't see. She just wants to have the baby and have her mom next door. And, you know, a lot of that does come down to, Girls are comfortable, Mm -hmm. and they're very uncomfortable when you move them away from their family. Sure. You know, or their support system, which is completely Or their friends, or whatever that looks like. Or or something that they've established over time, if you're moving every three, four years. But truly, these kinds of decisions can come up and fuck your life up, no matter what your station is at life. Whether you're a college student, like the West Point example, whether you're an executive, or even as, you know... Joe Blow, HVAC guy. It you can make big decisions with without really realizing the impact on your your yeah. whole life. Most of the time, when we see like mid level guys, it's he's not home very much, or he has to leave early, comes home late, or he has to travel a lot for work, mm-hmm. and she wants him home more. Yeah. So. He quits the job without a replacement. Yeah. And it creates a downward spiral Terrible. because you can't replace. And we see that happening a lot yeah. with men. You get you get paid better for your inconvenience. Yeah. You know. And it's not forever. No. Inconvenience is a season yeah. oftentimes, especially in in career paths. Yeah. You know. It might be two to five years, but that's nothing. Yeah. It's yeah. nothing in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. So 
So we, you know, we the West Point story came up. We put, put put it out there on Twitter, and a lot of guys were jumping in about they too had gone through a time where a very large pivotal decision came up, and they bounced it off their wife or girlfriend, um, and they or got even mother or even their mother who doesn't want anything bad to happen to you. Which yeah. you know you have to risk things, and and guys' lives are. A balance of you know risk and reward, mm-hmm. you know, not safety and security. So we recommend that you go for male um, guidance mm-hmm. in these matters, mm-hmm. and then tell her what your decision was after you've made it. Yes, one thousand percent. That's day. the perfect way to handle it. So it's a big picture thing. We don't always touch on this. We try to keep it light, but it's an important thing. And and one or two of these will come up in your lifetime. And it's important that you make the best decision for yourself and for your family, you know, using your guidance. We want you to win. Have a great day. Bye.